Chapter 12, Me and Judy Billings. After school, I walked Judy Billings home. She asked if I wanted to come in for a popsicle. I said, sure. I wasn't too anxious to go home anyway, with my mom waiting for me. As she opened her front door, something gray streaked past my feet. Oh, no, she screeched. Muffy, get back here. Muffy! The cat was already five houses up the street. Judy stomped her feet, foot. Ooh, I hate that cat. She always does this. She slammed the door shut. We took off after the cat. Whenever she does this, Judy huffed as we ran. She goes up a tree. No sweat, I told her. Sure enough, two blocks away, there was Muffy up a tree, pretty far up, out on a limb. Judy slumped. Oh, no, here we go again. Hey, I reminded her. I said no sweat. Hey, I said to myself, you're famous. You're number one. Judy Billings needs your help. Go for it, Black Widow man. I was in luck. The next day was trash pickup day. Cans were out. I dragged one over to the tree. I climbed onto it. It held me. Good. From the top of the trash can, I looked down at her. She looked up at me, smiling that beautiful smile. I saluted. See ya. I was just high enough to get my fingers around the lowest branch. I dug my sneaks into the bark and pulled myself up. From then on, it was easy, one limb after another, and there I was, even with Muffy. Meow, Muffy said. Okay, Judy called from below. Bring her down. Down? For the first time, I looked down. Uh-oh. What am I doing up here? How did I get this high? Far, far below me, the trash can seems like a thimble. Judy Billings seems like a doll. Her tiny face looking up at me, getting fuzzy, getting wavy. Come on, come on, she was saying. Her voice sounded tiny and far away. I squeezed my eyes shut. I hugged the tree trunk. I can't, I said. You can't, she called. Why not? I tried to think of some other way to say it, but I couldn't. I'm afraid of heights. Oh, great, I heard her say. <clears throat> I opened my eyes. Her hands were on her hips. She wasn't smiling anymore. I'll probably outgrow it, I said. Yeah, she said. Well, you better outgrow it in the next two seconds because I want my cat back, and I want her back now. Judy, I wanted to say, it's me, Suds, the guy who risked his life with the spider for you. Something told me it wouldn't make any difference. Now the tree was waving. No way I was going down. I couldn't even look down. I reached out, out, got the cat in my hand. My hand under it, lifted it up from the limb. I prayed I was right what I had heard, that cats always land on their feet. Always, please, I dropped it. It landed on its feet. Judy squealed, Muffy! I hugged the tree trunk again, scrunched my cheek against the bark, shut my eyes. When I opened them, only the trash can was beneath the tree. I thought, she's going for somebody to help get me down from here. A long time later, when mothers started calling their kids in for dinner, I changed the thought. She's not going for somebody. I did a bunch of thinking up there, too. I thought about the little kids I had pushed off swings, about the Twinkies I had snatched, about the spider that probably wasn't a black widow at all, and a girl who was after something but it wasn't me. I thought about rats and real men and number one and angels and fame and first and last love and nature's way. And for the first time since I started fourth grade, I knew exactly who I was. A scared kid up a tree. I listened. What are those names being called in for dinner? Mine? What are those mother's voices? Mine? Mom, I yelled, here, up here, help, help, help. I screamed my lungs out. Pretty soon my mother appeared, then my father, then a ladder. I came back to earth. My mother squeezed me harder than I had squeezed a tree. Look at you, she said. She sounded mad, but I knew she wasn't. You're shaking like a leaf. What were you doing up there? I tried to answer, but only tears came out. I blubbered like a baby. I couldn't help it. I didn't care. I held on tight to my mom as we walked home. 
Sorry I gave you a hard time this morning, I sniveled. That's okay, she said. I was trying to be a good rat. I know. I looked up at her. You do? She smiled. I was talking to Joey's mom. Uh oh. She laughed. Ten minutes after we got home, the doorbell rang. It was Joey and his mother. Hi, suds, said Mrs. Peterson. She was smiling, but Joey, he didn't look so good. She said, Joey has something to say to you, suds. I thought, what would he want to say to me, especially in front of his mom? Joey was facing me, but his eyeballs were up in the corner of his eyes. He didn't look any more like number one than I did. I... Uh, um, uh, sorry, he said. Don't stop there, said his mom. I, Joey blinked, coughed, swallowed, cleared his throat, and shifted his feet and twitched. I, uh, I'm sorry I got you into, pushed you, said his mom, pushed you into the rat stuff. I shouldn't have talked you into saying no to your mom. And what aren't you doing anymore? I, uh, I'm not saying no to my mom anymore. Mrs. Peterson nodded. Good. She patted Joey on the head. She smiled at me. Joey also wants you to know that he has dropped out of the rat race and has rejoined the human race. Mrs. Peterson smiled over my head. My mother was standing behind her. Guess that'll do it about, that'll about do it, Janet. I think so, my mom said. Mrs. Peterson mussed my hair. Bye, Sudsy. Bye, I said. They left. I turned to my mother. What was that all about? Just what it sounded like, she said. You didn't really think Mrs. Peterson was going to let him get away with all that nonsense, did you? It looked like she was. She nodded. You're right about that. She was trying to give him some slack, let him work his way through his rat phase. That's why she backed off about the tattoos. That's why. Plus, she didn't want to discipline him in front of you. But when her patience ran out, that was it. Curtains for Joey the Rat. He said he was sick yesterday. She laughed. It was his mother who was sick of sick, sick of his shenanigans. She kept him home to clean up his room and his tattoos and his act. So, she snapped her fingers, that's that. For her, maybe, she was walking away. Mom, I said, I have a confession.